What's up guys, Rick here, Canine Solutions Dog Training, back with your next Two Minute Tuesday. Did you guys catch last week where we talked about our canines and coffee event we're gonna be hosting? That's gonna be a blast. I just came from Julius Canine from picking up some swag that we're gonna be giving away at our event. This is gonna be a free raffle for anybody there. You can win some cool stuff and prizes. For those of you that can't make the event, we're gonna be doing a live stream of some of the stuff we're doing there, including some tips and tricks we're gonna be doing on site. Now this week I wanna talk about something which is overstimulating your dog and expecting unrealistic results. Now, let's just get into it. Three, two, one, go. So, when you pick up your dog from our board and train program, we have a specific strict protocol where you're not allowed to overstimulate your dog. Why? It's unfair. When you enter the training room, we coach you in exactly what to do and what not to do. No googly eyes, no staring from across the room, no heightening that dog's state of arousal. Why? because it's not going to hear you clearly if it's overstimulated. Now, I don't mean literally hearing with your ears, I mean hearing you mentally. The dog's been working with trainers for the last few weeks on what to do and be most successful for you at home. Now, if you walk in that room and you're, oh my God, Fido, I missed you to death, and the dog's like, ah! Trust me, it's already excited to hear you, see you, smell you, it wants to go home. So, we wanna keep that at a limit, the minimum level we can so the dog can be most successful. Now. Let's think of it this as a correlation. We all seen it and it's coming up soon. Super Bowl, right? There's been that favorite team of yours and that number one quarterback MVP, he's just won the Super Bowl. He's rushing across the field and here comes that reporter. Hey Joe, tell me what you're gonna do next. How does it feel to win the Super Bowl? How does it feel to be the MVP? And other than ones that are coached to say, hey, I'm going to Disney World. Well, let's just face it, they all been coached. But they look at you with that face and say, uh, uh yeah, I'm, I'm not, uh, exactly. They're so overstimulated at that moment because they just won the Super Bowl. It's the most prized event of the year for them. They're thinking about that. I can't believe this just happened. Not what's for dinner. So your dog's winning the Super Bowl when you come to pick them up. It's saying, thank gosh, I'm out of here. This has been the most fun and but stressful few weeks of my life. I can't wait to go home and show you what I've done. And you are just adding more fuel to the fire. So we wanna keep that at a minimal level. Don't ever overstimulate your dog and then expect spontaneous results. Keep it at a minimum and your dog is going to be able to hear you mentally. I really hope this has helped you guys this week, and we can't wait to see all of you at our Canines and Coffee event coming up. Don't forget, February 22nd at 22nd Street Coffee. There's an event posted below if you need directions or any other info. And please make sure you reserve your spot because they're going quickly. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye now.